We got Randall Watkins here on the high side. Randall says, I want to score more points, that's for sure, as we ride with him here in the 27. All of a sudden, a block thrown by Eugenio Alonso. Maybe not necessarily a block, but he wants to absorb the energy coming off the high line, which Randall Watkins is currently just absolutely dominating over top of. Now Randall's going to have to draft up behind Eugenio. They're going to have to get real close and almost run in tandem to try to beat McConville and Young. Seven laps this time at the line as Will Young, our race leader, our young race leader, if you will, takes us through turns one and two. And as he rolls it out of turn number two, we're going to see just what he's made of here as they head down the back chute. Randall Watkins driving like a man on a mission as they come down the back chute and into turn number three. Randall Watkins. Out of the 305, trying to lead Kavaja Holt now. In the double zero, Kavaja has now tucked himself just behind Randall. He's got a rear view mirror full of Michael Witt. They're not done shuffling around there yet. The people down in Atlantic City can't shuffle cards this good as Randall Watkins has now climbed up 14 positions to be running in P3. challenged by Randall Watkins here in the 27 as they haul it on down the back stretch Randall Watkins looking to see if he can get an edge over the 41 the question is does he bring Kavaja Holt along or does he try to slide down in front of the nose of the 41 it looks like he's trying to just let Kavaja push him along here it's kind of a natural lead change as that high line energy is just absolutely driving Randall Watkins' car for him. 